I'll give you one guess where we're headed. I'll give you a hint. It's north. While you're guessing and thinking on that, let's say hello to our geese friends. You guys ready? You guys ready? Where are they? There they are. There they are. <laughs> Morning, guys. Stay off the road. Another couple over here. Good, good, yeah, you hear me coming. because that's all going to Asheville, North Carolina.
We've gotten pretty quick. <clears throat> but when the freight is that small or a small amount, uh, it doesn't take too long. You know, quickly tire down and go. I don't know what they're going to put on the back of this trailer yet, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to send this all the way down to North Carolina by itself, but maybe, maybe I'm not in charge of that stuff. All I'm in charge of is coming to get it, bringing it back to the yard. Let the highway guy worry about that. get me home. Should. It's about a two hour drive back. I guess I should release the trailer brakes too. It always, it pulls better that way. That's what I found anyways. I mean, there we go. Everything goes a lot more smoothly when your wheels actually turn. It doesn't work as well dragging them uses a lot more fuel. I have seen a lot of Mounties on the roads today and a lot of MOT. Is it that blitz week? Is, it, is this the week where they do all the inspections? I should have been paying more attention. Because they've been doing inspections everywhere. I've been able to just sneak right through. But the MOT are doing inspections and I've seen at least six RCMP officers just on this perimeter around Winnipeg right now. Usually I don't see any, but there's a high, I mean six maybe isn't a high presence, but that's six more than I'd usually see. And they had the three vehicles pulled over messing around we're coming up to our favorite corner here where the south perimeter headed east meets the 59 and I need to turn south and somebody let their three-year-old design this intersection a long time ago because it makes no sense see I'm going this way now and I want to turn that way you would think it would be a loop right like a clover leaf go under the bridge, come around, and then you're on that side of the highway, right? Right? Wrong. This is Winnipeg. It's not allowed to make sense. No such thing as that. So we're gonna turn right here to turn left. traffic's coming down the 59 or if they're on the exit ramp to get onto the perimeter. They both look the same until they get really close and by that time it's too late. This direction I have to watch for traffic coming over that bridge and I can't see them and by the time I see them they're too close. So you just sort of gotta send it like this. Hope for the best. That actually went pretty well. Not gonna lie. Most times during the day like this, what is it now? It's uh just before two o'clock. Yeah, it's not too bad getting across there. It's a little sketchy, that's for sure. But around four to six o'clock during rush hour, and in the morning as well, I'm sure. 
almost impossible. You could sit there for a half hour waiting to get across. And I'm not complaining about it, I'm just warning you about it. <laughs> and they don't seem to want to fix it. I mean, uh, they'll wait till it's too late and there's been several accidents. Then they'll have a committee meeting about fixing it and then decide not to. That's usually how it works in Manitoba anyway. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly. Yeah, maybe in 30 years they'll set up some traffic lights or something. Nah. You know. Don't want to get our hopes up too high. Probably just, probably won't do anything. Ah, it's always fun. I try to avoid that intersection during rush hour, but during this time of day, ah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Wait there for maybe a couple of minutes, maybe at worst, but... It's just people that aren't familiar with it would probably have a pretty rough time and uh, could possibly cause a little bit of a kerfluffle there. Well guys, we've had several long days all in a row. We're going home early today. Well, not even early, we're going home on time today. <laughs> Feels early though. Uh, and guess what? You wanna know what this smile's all about on my face? You wanna know? Ask me. Why am I smiling, you ask? I just called in and registered my motorcycle. I'm going home and I'm pulling her out of storage, taking her for a rip. I haven't registered her for uh, for road use three or four years since before before I got married. This will be my first year of married life with a motorcycle registered. Oh, ho, ho, I'm excited! I got the green light from the wife today and everything. Yep. This is cause to celebrate. It's not a very fancy bike. It's just a, it's a 2013 Honda CBR 500R. Uh, it's it's nothing to write home about or anything, but it's a bike and it gives you that feeling of freedom, air rushing over you out there on a bike, flying down the highway, doing the speed limit. So uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna go pull her out. She probably needs a new battery, but I'm gonna get it boosted today and uh, throw on the helmet and the gear and take her for a rip around town and see if the bike can charge the battery up enough because last time I tried to start it, the battery was completely dead. It's been years since I've even had it running. So uh, it may need a new battery, but we'll find that out. So we're not getting any closer to getting on that bike sitting here. I'm even leaving here before some of the office people. Oh, look at me. That hasn't happened in a while. And what a nice day too. What a nice day to take out the motorcycle. Now, I am planning on selling my motorcycle. I, I don't know when, it could be this year. I'm kind of reluctant to give it up because it's my first motorcycle, but uh, I want to sell it and I want to buy a Harley. Uh, I'd, I'd like to have a Harley honestly but uh, you know the the name comes with a hefty price tag usually and I don't need anything brand new I just want something used and well taken care of but uh, before I do that I'd have to get rid of the current situation I got right I'm not really a cross rocket type of guy I'm not really a the CBR doesn't really suit me I don't think but I have it and I want to ride something and it's all I have right now so I'm gonna ride it okay hopefully people won't make fun of me <laughs> I don't care if they do come on people make fun I'm on the internet every day people make fun of me every day whatever just add one more thing to the pile but the plan is yeah I gotta I want to get it ready for sale get it on the road you know use it for a few months at least Right now, I'm only registering it to the end of July. So by that point, I'll know for sure whether or not I want to sell it or keep it. And I'll be able to get it moving, get it on the road, make sure it's in good working order, you know, so that I can sell a bike that I'm confident uh, is ready to sell. It's not going to give anyone else any issues. 
I'd like to ride it for a while first just to be sure. And we'll see if I can uh, sell it for the right price and find uh, another Harley or something, a cruiser bike for the for the right price. We'll go for it. But yeah, right now we'll make do with what we got. Be thankful. What do you think, guys? We got her out of storage and as expected, the battery was dead. So I had to run out and get a new battery. A battery from Honda for this machine is $354. So we went to Canadian Tire and got ourselves a replacement battery for $100 instead. So this is the kind of battery that I've actually got to fill up myself, apparently. So I've read all the instructions. Never had to do this before. That is battery acid. That has to go in there. Waiting for all the battery acid to go in. The one on the left is pretty much done already. This one's still up here, so if it's a race, that, that guy definitely won. I'm supposed to let it sit here for about 20 minutes. It is going down. Just gotta wait for it to all go in there. And then I'm gonna seal it up and charge it up. Never had to do this before with a battery. Learned something today. And now we let it sit for 20 minutes. Well, it worked and I went on a short little ride, but I'm gonna leave you hanging in suspense just for a little while because I wanna, I wanna do like a motorcycle vlog on the weekend. So I'm gonna save it for then. But the bike's running, the, uh, the new battery worked great. Once I uh, hooked to the right side, up to the right side, the positive for the positive and not the other way around because that blew a fuse. We found out what happens if you do that. So I'll explain this all to you when we uh, hang out on the weekend. Something to look forward to, for me anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you're into that stuff or not, but we can talk motorcycles on Saturday. For now anyways, I used up my whole, my whole evening. It was a little bit of a longer evening than usual. So I'm gonna go inside now and relax with the wife and uh, spend the rest of the time I have before I have to go to bed inside.